Are we ready? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you all for coming to the uh, Knox Arcaeus product announcement. I am not here to announce the return of the cows to Valley. The, the cows actually never left, so it would be really weird if I didn't say they were returning. Um, I am not here to announce that Chris Torrance and I are going to teach two little poodles how to fly. That, that probably will never happen. Um, I am not here to announce Knox or Chaos to the quest for more memory yet. I am here to announce Knox or Chaos, Lord of Storms, an expansion pack for the original game. And I thank you all for your support thereof. Thank you. This expansion pack will have uh, a couple of new uh, features, gameplay features. Uh, you will be able to uh, rename your main character. Right now you can name your, your main character at the beginning and you're stuck with it. And the NPCs who join you, you're stuck with their names. But a new feature, you'll be able to rename the main character after you started the game and or rename any of the NPC characters who join your party. So, for example, you could have a party full of Lord of the Rings themed characters or Dragonlance themed characters or just nonsensical characters. Uh, whatever you desire. Are you really? you, you can fulfill uh, that mission that uh, was unfulfilled in the original game to, yes, give NPC 68 uh, a, a proper name. That is very true. I think that's probably uh, the most admirable use of that feature. <laughs> <laughs> um, another feature uh, is the ability to disable magic mode in uh, quick combat, and that is uh, by, by popular request, uh, since their uh, uh, quick combat uh, definitely speeds things up uh, in the later game if you're level 10 and you get attacked by orcs. You don't need to go through the tactical battle, but you probably also don't want your wizards to use up their magic points in the process because it's just not necessary. Uh, so you'll be able to uh, have an option uh, to disable magic, and you can toggle this on and off to disable magic in quick combat uh, so that that little uh, annoyance uh, is no longer a factor. Additionally, there of course will be more content. Uh, there will be a new quest uh, to solve the mystery of the Lord of Storms. And uh, now those of you who played the game probably remember there are uh, actual lightning thunderstorms that roll across the game world that if you get too close to them will zap you with lightning bolts. Um, so uh, all I'll say is that the Lord of Storms has something to do with those storms and uh, new quest will be to, uh, to solve that, that mystery and what's going on there. Uh, there will also be uh, a few new mobs, um, a few new puzzle mechanics, and uh, some also some new game items. Some game items which will be uh, sort of level appropriate for the expansion uh, uh, expansion back quest, and some others which um, will be somewhat higher level that uh, will have um, newfound relevancy in uh, the later game of the original content. And uh, the way the expansion pack is structured would be very similar to like the way Ultima did the Forge of Virtue expansion pack for Ultima 7, or like how the Skyrim uh, expansion packs work, where it's the original game, and then there's uh, you know just new content added into the game world. So when uh, when you play through the game that has the expansion itself, you could play it through uh, it completely ignoring the expansion content, just the way it was originally played or you can choose to engage in the expansion content and then uh, you know, whatever you pick up along the way can then be helpful to you as you then continue through the original content of the game. So I'm also here to announce uh, not only this new, uh, this project that has been underway uh, secretly for, for a while now, uh, it is far enough along that uh, I'm announcing a pre-order uh, is now available for the expansion pack. And uh, you can find uh, this pre-order on our website at noxarchaos.com. 
And uh, you're welcome to use the discount code KFEST2022 for the rest of this week for 25% off. <laughs> Thank you. And I additionally wanted to uh, mention we do have 6502 Workshop uh, does now have a Patreon. So uh, if you would like to, uh, you know, uh, help us to the next level in being able to make more uh, games and content, uh, uh, this is a wonderful way to do it. And we appreciate uh, everyone uh, here who has uh, supported the Patreon and anyone else who may choose to do you, uh, may, may choose to do so. We very much appreciate that. Uh, in addition to uh, being a great help in the furtherance of uh, creating additional games, uh, there are some benefits to being a patron. Um, monthly, uh, quarterly uh, project updates and uh, including some behind the scenes uh, devs, you know, what's kind of going on in the development of the projects, getting a peek into that development process, you know, really raw and unfiltered in a way that uh, you don't see, you know, typically even like Kickstarter updates get very polished. And this, this is going to be, here's what's really going on. You know, the challenges and, and successes as they come. Um, and uh, as well as, uh, you know, benefits, special ranks on our Discord server, like Hero of the Realm, Champion of the Realm. Those all show up on uh, the, the right-hand side where the users uh, that are logged in appear. Uh, access to the Inner Circle Discord channel. Uh, I post to that periodically with just little tidbits of you know things you know going on as they happen uh, a little bit more rapidly than even the uh, uh, the, the development uh, updates. Uh, Mark, uh, just speak, I'm getting some feedback that the link isn't working for your okay, Thank you. Um, and uh, then uh, lastly. Uh, uh, one of the Patreon uh, benefits is an invitation to a monthly video chat uh, with uh, the development team or, or portions of the development team, and uh, and more. Those are those are a few highlights. So again, thank you very much for everybody who has uh, supported Noxercast, uh, supported the Patreon, and who chooses to do so uh, in the future. We really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, the Patreon can be found at patreon6502 workshopcom or scanning this QR code, and uh, we'll get the link to the pre-order uh, here straightened out here shortly. I uh, appreciate your patience on that. When did you say the game's coming out? Uh, the uh, Noxer Camps, Lord of Storms, the target date is March 31st of 2023. Uh, hoping for before that, uh, but uh, trying to be uh, conservative. <laughs> and, there will, and there will not be a Kickstarter? There will not be a Kickstarter, that's correct. What do you do, Chris? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the pre-order is kind of in place of a uh, Kickstarter in that regard. So. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everyone. Great. Thank you, Mark. Okay, uh, so next up we have uh, Javier Rivera. And uh, before I introduce him, I just wanted to talk a little bit about his new uh, product. So Javier has his Miracle Retro Bright shampoo that he'll be talking about today. He's been using it for the last <laughs> five weeks to regrow his hair. I put. As you can tell by his luxurious uh, locks of hair. Uh, uh, next. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much again. Uh, I'm just quickly coming here to announce, really, um, I've been working with um, Joe Strasneider, um, Mark Josidis, and Lauren Vassilov. Um, I think you remember me last year doing the work of the, uh, uh, presenting a, a keyboard that has a, a backlit on the Apple IIc. And, and I did that first manually, and then Joe, uh, with his skills, did a, a prototype, and it was so, um, everybody liked it so much that there was a Kickstarter created by Mark, and it was successful, and we're working on it. So just to remind you that we're still working on it, it's still on, on course, unfortunately, with all the things that have been happening, you know, in the world, it's a little bit behind, but it's, you know, beyond Mark's control, he's uh, really trying to, to push it forward, but it, we're gonna have a lot of cool stuff 
Uh, I don't want to promise anything, but you know, <clears throat> it's going to have a little bit two or three things beyond just backlit. So uh, because of we got Lamin's magic. So uh, just let you know that, guys, and uh, and that's it. Uh, so because my my shampoo didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much, guys. Sorry about that. Ken Gagney will be next, and he will be bringing up a very large box. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> okay. good? Yep. Do what you gotta do. All right. Hello, thank you. Hi, my name is Ken Gagney. I am the editor and publisher of Juice.gs, which is the longest remaining, uh, the longest print publication dedicated to the Apple II, and the only one still in print. We are in our 27th year, which means we've published 106. <laughs> if you say so. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we published 106 issues of Juice GS. Each issue is at least 20 pages of news, reviews, interviews, how to's. We've published, uh, this story was about how uh, Vince Weaver remade Mist for the 8 bit Apple II. Here's a story about an MMORPG for the Apple II GS that ran in Australia in the 1990s, and nobody had ever heard of it, really. Uh, we did a story all about Kansas Fest, the very first virtual one, a couple of years ago. Our 100th issue, which was uh, 28 pages, and had eight pages of reviews of every single Apple II emulator. So if you don't know where to get started, or what you want to emulate, or what system you want to emulate it on, we have that. And so many other stories. This past year, we did a review of the Knox Archaeus book, uh, how accelerators on the Apple II work and why they are so hard to recreate. A look at some various programming languages that you may never have heard of, and a deep look at Sweet 16, which was built into the Apple II. So we have all these issues. We have three announcements for you today. The first is that we will be continuing to publish in 2023. Our 28th volume is coming out next year. If you are already subscribed, then you will auto-renew on January 1st for the same price that you paid for this year, which is $20 for residents of the United States, $25 in Canada and Mexico, $28 everywhere else. That includes shipping for all four issues. If you want to get this year's issues, you can pay online or see me, and you'll get the first two issues immediately, and the next two issues that are coming out later this year, September and December. If you want to sign up to start in 2013, uh, 2023, if you're not already a subscriber, you can do that online and you'll get billed January 1st. No money down today. Uh, other announcements are we have back issues. The first 20 years of JuiceGS are available in hard copy or PDF. So very searchable, instant delivery, free shipping, color printing, and those issues are 20% off for the rest of this month. So you can get volumes 1 through 10, which is 40 issues, for $64. Or you can get volumes 11 through 20, also for $64. So that's 40 PDFs for only $64. So that's our second announcement. The third announcement is, I mentioned we have a lot of programming tutorials in our issues. If you want to take those tutorials and start programming for the Apple II, an essential utility to do so is Golden Gate by Kelvin Sherlock. We are the exclusive seller of that product. It's a link layer for Orca products you can develop right on the Mac, and that or other systems. And that is normally $10. It's a whopping 50% off, only $5 through the rest of this month. So, Juice GS, back issues available in print and PDF. Subscriptions are available for this year and next year. And Golden Gate is 50% off. Thank you very much. I have loved publishing this magazine for so many decades. I love coming back to Kansas Fest and making this announcement that we're going to be back. It's thanks to all of you who are making things happen on the Apple II for us to report, and all of you who subscribe to Juice GS. This is my 25th Kansas Fest, and I look forward to coming back wow. and making this announcement for many more years to come. Thank you.